having eyes on me while nothing is going on is the most afflictive state. <laughs> and I love the urges and surges I feel in my body. I love the thoughts, emotions and sensations that I experience because each one now is just an opportunity to mine, mine the gold that it is, seeing what it truly is, what its ultimate definition is. Pure benefit. Pure benefit, inseparable from raging negativity, wild sensations in the body, fears, paranoias, uncertainties, confusion. Pure benefit inseparable from all these data streams. Data, simply a term to speak of all our experiences, positive, negative or neutral, all our thoughts, emotions and sensations. The life energy, data. Now we've lived our life, and I know I've lived my life very much, giving meaning and power to these data streams, this negativity, this positivity, this neutrality. Whatever it is, that's how I'm living my life. That's how I lived my life for many, many years. That was a wild way to live life and a wild way to use my intelligence because Ultimately, it's always changing. The flow of data is unpredictable, countless and ceaseless. And each one of us can just acknowledge that in the last few minutes that we've sat here. How much has come up for us? In your chairs right now. A flow of data, positive, negative or neutral. It might be too hot. The chairs might be super uncomfortable. We may have been partying last night, so we're exhausted this morning. Our body might be hurting. A flow of data that we're experiencing. And so living at the whim of these data streams is always causing tension, confusion, stress, maybe an inability to make decisions and know how to act in a powerful, relaxed and easeful way. And so what we're introduced to here in Balance View, what we're getting to know about ourselves is that there is something about us that is completely relaxed, always on and totally available for us to live as moment to moment. Getting to know an intelligence that has always been present but has been dormant because it hasn't been recognised through giving power and meaning to our data. This completely relaxed vibe is present and alive and available right now to recognize. And there's just a simple instruction that we use in Balance View to introduce ourselves to that intelligence that is cool and relaxed. Not bothered one iota by what data is appearing. So to introduce ourselves to it, that complete relaxation that is available right now, we just simply stop thinking. And when we stop thinking, what remains? And what remains is just this sense of alertness, this openness, this comfortability that is just sitting here right now, as it is. This open intelligence is present and alive in thinking and available in not thinking. So we never have to just sit around stopping thinking moment to moment because open intelligence is fueling all our data streams. Open intelligence is present and available when we are thinking. So when we're feeling complete negativity, open intelligence bright and alive at the basis of that negativity. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times is the simple tool that we use to tap into that intelligence moment to moment. A tool that we can use wherever we go with whatever is appearing in our experience. It's one of the four mainstays. 
the four mainstays is the empowerment network of Balanced View that is just simply a platform to get to know ourselves as open intelligence, as completely relaxed, powerful, potent, free, vast. This is you and short moments of open intelligence is the button that we press to get to know ourselves as open intelligence. We're never stuck. We're never locked down into a data stream because we have a practice that blows open the data stream, that allows it to be as it is, and that's short moments. And so when we take short moments, we start to see that things open up, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. But we each have our perfect pace. And the four mainstays are a rooted platform that is just inexhaustibly available, indestructibly available. It ain't going anywhere. So we just take up the invitation in our perfect pace to get to know ourselves as this intelligence. Because I know for me, I didn't want to live my life riddled with negativity and thinking that it had a power over me. I did that for a very, very long time. And for me, it was like living under a glass ceiling where I could never see my potential, where I was only so good, so capable, so able. There were so many limitations I placed on myself, definitely not being good enough. Whatever it was, that's just the umbrella I could use for sport, for music, for teaching, being a personal trainer, working in jobs. There's just this umbrella that's covering me just saying, you're not good enough. And so just reifying that, giving that power and meaning, you become that. I became that. I became not good enough. And I just carried that with me wherever I went. And then being introduced to open intelligence, being introduced to short moments, being introduced to the four mainstays, I was just given a set of simple instructions to just let that umbrella just be as it is. But see that I don't need to use it anymore. Just let it fall away. And see that I'm completely comfortable, completely capable, completely able to just go for it. And we are all capable of that. And the four mainstays is just this permission field to explore our strengths, gifts and talents, to explore maybe those abilities that we've been hiding because we were scared about making mistakes, fearing embarrassment, getting things wrong. Here we just try, we just give things a go and we just know that there's gonna be endless support available to us, endless support of a trainer another mainstay that we have, a primary trainer that we can rely on to empower open intelligence, to see how we want to design our life for the benefit of all, a context of living that I missed out on before. It was the benefit of me. But opening things up to the benefit of all through a relationship with a trainer has just empowered my life, given me a purpose that I'd been craving. And now that I have that opportunity to live in this way, I'm just taking it with both hands and my life's energy. Because being of benefit to all includes myself. Being of benefit looks in any particular way. So we don't need to get locked down on what it does look like. It looks like each one of us living as open intelligence. And the relationship with the trainer just totally fuels that, brings it alive. We share openly where we feel like we're breaking down and the, the trainer will just empower us to see what breakthroughs are available. So the four mainstays is really this algorithm that if we use it entirely, the result is continuous open intelligence. So the first two mainstays the short moments practice, the trainer, the third mainstay, the training, 
training media, we have an information table, we have books, we have media, we have everything available to just empower us through visuals, audios, showing up to trainings around the world or online. There's just so much available, an endless array of, da of media available for us. And it's just freely available for us. And we just take it at our own pace. Sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, but there is no rush. The dawning of open intelligence is gonna be a forever inexhaustible dawning. And it takes the time it takes. But I'm grateful just that I'm gentle with myself now, just allowing myself to be as I am. And that's negative a lot of the time. And it's negativity with a smile because I recognize its essence, its truth value, its ultimate definition as pure benefit, inseparable from open intelligence, one and the same. And we don't need to think about that. We just rest as we are. We take short moments. And finally, the community mainstay, the fourth mainstay, we just get swept up by other people's other people's demonstration and vibe, their breakthroughs, their realisation, their assurance. And for someone that's been community averse for my whole life, to live in community all the time, to me is just a fantastic result of this training. Seeing I don't need to shy away from my power. I don't need to believe in the data that says I should be here, they should be there, I shouldn't show up here, I don't like people. Data, it's just an endless variety that we all have. And do we give it power and meaning? Has everyone given it power and meaning? I ask you to just check out what the result of that lifestyle was like. And then to just be introduced to open intelligence and to nurture that by short moments, by the four mainstays, just testing it out at our own pace and then checking out what that lifestyle's like. It's a no-brainer. Pure benefit, a stream of pure benefit. We are so fortunate to be alive at this time where we've got the ability to recognise open intelligence moment to moment. And it's our own responsibility. So anything that you're hearing today is just my experience, but nothing that anyone has to believe. It's for us to test it out ourselves. And we, when we have a glimmer, when we taste it, and we see some benefit, we naturally want to come back because we like it. And I love it. And I love that it's going to be an inexhaustible adventure. And ultimately, I love that I'm going to be doing it in a community, regardless of the data that I have about community. We are not limited, not stuck anywhere. Open intelligence, bright, shining and free, limitless and available.